A rise in microns does not mean that your sensor is leaking or the gauge is defective. With any electronic gauge, it is normal for the readings to increase after the system is isolated from the vacuum pump. You can watch our quick tip number two video, Rising Micron Readings, for more details. This video will show you how to ensure your sensor is not leaking and to make sure your vacuum gauge is working properly. You can do this with our 69080, 69086, and 69075 vacuum gauges. I will be using a manifold tree with a ball valve, a 69086 digital vacuum gauge, and I'll be testing it against our certified 69060 LED vacuum gauge. These vacuum gauges are highly accurate and will indicate any molecular activity. Even if you're running straight off a vacuum pump like I am, there is still water vapor, possible contaminations in the oil, and molecules from the interior of the pump. There will also be outgassing of the rubber hoses or even from the ball valve or isolation valve. When hooking up directly to your pump, you should always use a ball valve or an isolation valve. By doing this, this will keep oil out of your sensor and also for quick isolation. We recommend running your pump for 15 minutes or more. What we're going to be looking for is rate of rise. Run the pump with the ball valve or isolation valve in the open position. If you are getting low micron readings, your vacuum gauge is not leaking. If the sensor was leaking, you would not be able to pull a deep vacuum. We'll now check the rate of rise. When using a ball valve, you should turn the valve to the half-closed position for a few minutes to evacuate the dead space between the seals and where the stem exits the valve body. Otherwise, the gas that occupies this space will cause an immediate increase in the reading of the gauge. I'm going to put my ball valve in the half open. So if you see, I did have a slight increase in microns and it is settling back down. We'll then go ahead and close the valve completely and watch your rate of rise. I'm doing this a lot quicker because of the video. You would let it run for a couple minutes in between. So now what we're looking for is the rate of rise. So if you're getting a pretty quick increase, go ahead and repeat this step. You would open to the half position, run for a few more minutes, and close again. The next time, your rate of rise should be much slower. You'll do this a few more times until the rate of rise has decreased and your micron readings have leveled off and remain for several minutes. Thank you for watching this Yellow Jacket technical tip video. If there are any other tech tip videos you would like to see, post them on the ideas page at www.yellowjacket.com. University.com.